Welcome builders! If you are looking for best offline protection base design and good online defense, this base for you. 6 external TC, small compound with big furnaces protected by double chains and 12 ways to climb from each side. Open one of the 6 entrance, we see turrets that cannot be broken by ammo or you need spend 7 or 8 fast rockets. Also good view from jump up, you can check all what happened under your walls, same from here you can close door. Other side, if they wanna raid walls to steal your sulfur, our after friends will protect you. From each side you have fast drop boxes, so you can put stuff and come back fast. Now we are going to shooting floor, as I say, 12 ways to climb. Main idea of this base is roof. You must protect as much as you can. If they start raid you at first floor, this is what we are striving for. So we place 15 turrets, which hard to break, and 3 sams. I also don't forget about online protection. Small gaps, a lot of peaks and ways to kill enemy. You have 2 loot rooms, one is your roof. Place box, beds, lockers and all what you want, and one more with main loot inside. I played with this base a lot of wipes and 90% of offline raids on the first, second floor with splash damage, so all high quality metal which I built in this base add a lot of hardness. So I change every time after raid and now I show you my best release. All best stuff keep here, other on the roof. And what they need to raid. If enemy know about your loot room on the roof, he will destroy 2 HQM walls and 3 metal, but I don't remember such cases. If this video get a lot of views, all what you need change loot room position. From all sides base protect evenly. One big problem, it cannot be start base. Before you build sandstorm, you need farm and farm. But I will show you step by step, so you can farm half and start building. First up base on 3 walls and close roof, it's around 25,000 frags. And place TC like on video, with same holes. When you farm more, you will add extra walls. Only this first step I speed up. Some guys write that hard to understand, so I slow building process. But don't show twice. If you write how better, it's give me more information. Thanks. Place TC and some boxes and jump up to the roof. I understand that base without start step hard to build, but if you need good offline protection, something need to be sacrificed. Place 3 turrets on your roof and it will be enough. This is only temporary solution. Next step shooting floor and external TC. If you have any questions or wanna be part of small builder community, welcome to my Discord. Now need close our shooting floor, build windows, place doors and roofs. When you finish with this step, you can place more turrets and wind turbines. External TC will upkeep these frames and parts of your compound.
If you don't have DLC, it's not big problem. And now connect all construction. If you have this foundation or roof frame, your path don't decay. To finish your compound, you need 12 poles and 18 barricades. Guys, if you like my video, don't forget to follow and press like. Soon 1000 subscribers. Thank you. Why better upgrade roof? It's cheaper. When raiders destroy this wall, for example, they must raid HQM roofs. If you need open, upgrade to another material. and more protection by double chain turrets. Turrets. Fuck. Time to add extra walls, so repeat like on video. If wall or roof in high quality metal, so it must be. Now place more boxes and drop boxes in our main loot room. If you don't enough uh, big furnaces, place small on the roof.
And last step, our top building, where we can place Sam's and some turrets. Don't forget place boxes for better angles. That's all, now you can build Sandstorm.